How to Sell on Facebook Marketplace for Beginners. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to start selling on Facebook Marketplace, even if you're a complete beginner. So stick with me till the end because I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create your first listing, attract real buyers, and make safe, successful sales right from your phone or computer. The first thing you need to understand is why Facebook Marketplace is such a powerful tool for selling. Whether you're just clearing out unused items from around your home or launching a small online business, Facebook Marketplace can be a total game changer. Unlike other platforms that charge listing or selling fees, Facebook allows you to post as many items as you want without any upfront cost. You can quickly answer questions, negotiate prices, or arrange meetups without needing to share your phone number or download another app. This makes the whole process super convenient and seamless. And here's a big plus. If you're selling items locally, you can often skip the hassle and expense of shipping altogether. You don't need to worry about packaging, postage costs, or tracking. Just agree on a time and place to meet, hand off the item, and collect your payment. That said, there are a few important prerequisites and safety tips you should keep in mind before you start. First, make sure your item is clean and in good condition. Presentation matters a lot. Also, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with Facebook Marketplace's policies so you know what's allowed and what's not. And when it comes to safety, always meet buyers in a well-lit public place like a parking lot or shopping center. Let someone know where you're going and ideally bring a friend with you. If possible, arrange the meetup during daylight hours and avoid letting buyers come directly to your home unless you know them or feel totally secure. The very first tip I have for you is to take high quality, real photos of your product. Clear and honest photos are absolutely essential. They're often the deciding factor in whether someone clicks on your listing or scrolls right past it. Make sure the lighting is good, the item is clean, and you capture it from multiple angles so buyers can see exactly what they're getting. Avoid using overly edited or stock images. People trust real, authentic photos more. Now let's switch gears and head over to your Facebook account. Open up your browser and go to facebook.com. And once you're logged in, look to the menu on the left-hand side of your home page. There, you'll find the option labeled Marketplace. Go ahead and click on that. Inside the Facebook Marketplace, you'll notice a huge variety of listings, everything from electronics and furniture to clothing and toys. This is where people in your area are actively browsing and buying. Facebook even personalizes what you see here based on your location, interests, and past activity, which makes it easier for buyers to find what you're offering. Since you already have a Facebook account, you automatically have a Marketplace profile. You don't need to set anything up separately. To start selling, click on the Selling tab inside Marketplace. This section will display any current or past listings you've posted, making it easy to track your activity, edit your posts, or relist items if needed. Now, once you click on the Create New Listing button inside Facebook Marketplace, you'll be prompted to select what kind of listing you want to create. You'll see options like Item for Sale, Vehicle for Sale, or Home for Sale or Rent. For this example, let's go ahead and select Item for Sale, since that's the most common type of listing for beginners. After choosing that, you'll be taken to a simple form that gives you a quick preview of how your product will appear to potential buyers. One of the first steps here is to upload photos of the item you're selling. You'll see a button that says, Add Photos. Click on it and select the images from your device. Let's say you start with one image, like this one right here, and then go ahead and add more. Make sure the photos are taken in good natural light and that you show the item from different angles front, back, sides, and close-ups of any important details or flaws. A clean, uncluttered background helps your item stand out, and if it's something like clothing or furniture, try to show it in use or styled in a real setting. This helps buyers imagine how they might use it themselves. You can upload up to 10 photos, so use that space wisely to give people a full view of what you're offering. Once your photos are in, you'll be ready to move on and enter the title of your product. Next, you'll need to set a price for your item. If you're not quite sure what to charge or you're open to negotiation, a good trick is to set the price to zero or something very low. 
This signals to potential buyers that you're flexible, and they'll be encouraged to message you to discuss the actual price. You can always settle on a fair amount during your conversation. Once you've entered your price, the next step is to choose a category for your listing. This helps Facebook show your item to the right audience. For example, if you're selling an outfit or accessories, select clothing and accessories. From there, you can narrow it down even further, like choosing women's clothing and shoes if that fits your item. Now you'll be asked to set the condition of the item. If it's never been worn or used, go ahead and mark it as new. After that, it's a good idea to fill out the size, color, or any other relevant details to help buyers know exactly what they're getting. For the brand, if it's a known label like Shopify, though Shopify isn't a clothing brand, so maybe you'd put something like Zara or H&M, include that too. It adds credibility and helps with search. Next comes the description. This is your chance to give a clear and friendly overview of your product. Mention any standout features, the condition, and why someone might love it. Keep it short, helpful, and easy to read. You can also add product tags, which help your item appear in more search results. Tags like trendy jacket, 2025 fashion, or women's fall outfit can help increase visibility when users search within Marketplace. Then, choose how you want to deliver the item. Most people go with public meetup, which is safer and more convenient. Facebook lets you choose your local area for pickup. Once that's all filled in, click Next. Facebook will give you the option to list your product in additional groups or local selling circles, which can get your items seen by even more people. After you've finalized everything, click Publish, and your item is now live on Facebook Marketplace, ready to attract interested buyers. Finally, if you want to give your product more visibility and attract more potential buyers, you can take advantage of the Boost Listing feature. This is especially useful if your item hasn't received much attention or isn't getting the number of views you'd hoped for. By boosting the listing, you push it back toward the top of search results, making it more prominent to people browsing the marketplace. To do this, you'll first need to authenticate your account and set up payment details. Once that's complete, you'll be able to configure your daily ad budget. Facebook also gives you control over where your listing appears by offering placement options, which can include Facebook, Instagram, and other connected platforms. You can either let Facebook automatically optimize placements, or you can manually choose where your ad shows up. After that, decide whether you want to set a total budget for the entire duration, or select a custom daily budget with a specific number of days. I recommend starting with a small budget and running the ad for a few days to test performance. If it works well, you can always extend the duration or increase the spend. Let's say you decide to run your promotion for five days, but you're working with a tighter budget. That's totally fine. You can always lower the daily spending to keep things more affordable while still reaching potential buyers. Even a small boost can help increase visibility. Now, here's something that really matters. Responsiveness. It's crucial to reply to interested buyers quickly. Prompt communication increases your chances of closing a sale and builds trust. Be clear and consistent when chatting, especially since many buyers may try to negotiate. To stay ahead of that, know your lowest acceptable price beforehand so you're prepared to respond firmly, but always stay polite and respectful. And once your item is sold, don't forget to go back and mark it as sold on the listing. This tells Facebook's algorithm that your sales activity is legitimate and it can positively affect your seller rating, which is important for future transactions. Yes, every seller gets a rating and the better yours is, the more trustworthy you'll appear. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.